Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Manuel Okafo and today I'll be showing you guys how to do lip sync animation inside Blender. So this is quite fun and pretty straightforward. Uh, yeah, so I already have this is actually uh, this is an actual project which I'm working on. Um, the project doesn't require a much um, detail based on the rig I created. Um, so the controls are limited and the animation um, was film a bit more stiff than it usually should be. Okay, um, so um, let me show you guys the control rig we'll be working with. As I said earlier, it's a very simple rig, but it does the job. Um, so basically, I have a jump movement con um, controller. I also have an extra one to be able to scale up the mount and just create nice deform um, deformation around here. Also, I have one to move, uh, probably create like an eating motion or just create nice deformation with the face. So I knew from start um, from the get go that the rig I need to create for this don't need to be really detailed because um, it's not going to re be really close the animation. So. And the project quality, um, project budget is not so, so much, so um, this is the <laughs> appropriate rig for this kind of project. Um, so we have the jaw control, and I also created another control bone that is driving um, several blend shapes. So since I knew I would not have much control for the face, I also sculpted in some fa facial movements with the lips. Okay. So I can just get a bit more um, stuff for free, and we have just more controls for the eyes, for the eyebrows. Okay, and then just simple smile, sad, and you can combine them to probably create confuse. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Um, yeah, so let me show you guys how you can create lip sync inside Blender. So we'll just do a very little frame. Okay, so how, the way we start is I don't know if you can hear the audio. Okay, so I uh, will just do the Oh boy, because the character is singing. So, so we just do like oh boy and say, okay, so we'll end it here. So, the way you want to go about this is I will just select the jaw movement alone, the one that moves this up and down. By the way, sorry about the dog barking, it's not my dog, the dog belongs to my neighbor. If not, I could have taken care of it. Um, yeah, so what you want to do is turn on your auto keyframe so that when you move your bone, it automatically sets, sets a keyframe. Um, next, you want to, um, what you want to do for, look for when creating sound um, is uh, basically um, vowel, um, vowel pronunciations like A, E, I, O, U. That's one thing you want to bear in mind. And also, you can um, add some more motion if it's necessary. But um, you should bear that in mind. Also, um, you should avoid making wide mouth movements when animating lips. Um, it's not realistic and it's going to feel really cartoonish. So you want to open it, but not so much because if you talk most of the times, um, the main um, sound is coming not from the lips itself, but from the mo motion of the tongue. And um, there are so many factors. So. Creating wide um, jaws is not going to really, um, if I should, it's not going to really um, come out um, really good. So you need to be aware of that too. So um, let's listen to the audio one more time. So yeah, we have like an E sound. So E, so a slight E. Okay, so I will insert another keyframe there for the E. Then here I will close the jaw. So here we have O. Oh boy. 
Okay, so we open this, and here we're going to get. Um, we want it to, the lips to be resting, so we'll insert just a rest pose keyframe here. So. So the O is closing slightly, and boy, we increase it. Okay. So this is what we have right now. Okay, so next what you want to do is select, for instance, if we had like a um, mouse controller, like a more advanced rig, we had stuff like this. Then now you want to select all these controllers, okay, and also select this. But for this case, since we just have a very simple rig, I will select this one that really controls all the world sense, the E or E, the E, O, U, and mouse coil in. So I will select that and shift select the jaw movement. And insert keyframe everywhere we have the jaw movement. Okay? So once you do that, um, you're good to go. So now we select the VOA controller and start playing with it. So, so you want to sculpt in E, okay? And then for this interpolation, this space here, um, you also want to control it with the VOA sense because um, even when the joints is not moving, the lips, especially the lower lip, part of the lips, um, moves slightly, and the side corner also moves. Um, so this space is where we're going to be um, adding some more um, definition to the world. Okay, so 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 we're carving it, um, sculpting it in. Okay. So here we we'll just insert a keyframe to keep the rest pose and start shaping to O. Okay, so as for this for the breakdown. Okay, so let's see what we have. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So as you can see, we're ha oh looking good. Oh boy. Oh boy. So I think. So I want this to also still be present here. So like we have. Oh boy. So right here, I can see that the jaw is a bit extreme, so I will dial it down. Okay. So as you can see, that's how you can create nice looking lipstick animation. Yeah, so it's looking great. Yeah, so that's it guys, that's how you can create lipstick animation. Um, Probably in the future, I will get a more detailed rig and show you guys how to do it. But this is a start. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Bye bye for now. See you next time. By the way, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on that bell so you get notified anytime I create a new tutorial. So bye bye for now.